Hello everyone. Welcome to Travel Eat. Threadbo and Perisher are both very popular ski resorts to ski in Australia. Choosing between Threadbo or Perisher can be a little confusing for new visitors. Following are some main reasons why you choose one ski resort over the other. These are just our personal opinions based on our own experiences and observations. Both ski resorts are located in the snowy mountains in Kosciuszko National Park. Perisher is Australia's biggest ski resort with four resort areas including Perisher Valley, Smiggin Holes, Guthaga, and Blue Cow. There are plenty of runs to explore across those four areas. In Perisher, Perisher Valley is the most visited area of those four, especially for first-time visitors or beginners. On the other hand, Threadbow is one ski resort area with Threadbow Village at the base of the mountain. Threadbow is home to the country's longest runs, almost double the amount of vertical than any other resort. For families, Perisher is our pick. Perisher has more activities for kids including a dedicated toboggan park and snow play area at Perisher Valley. It also has easier terrain for young beginners. Among the four areas, Smiggin Holes is an excellent place for young children or beginners to learn skiing as it's less crowded than Perisher Valley and has more areas to practice. For non-skiers, just visit the snow field. If you don't ski and just want to visit and play with snow, Perisher is a good choice. You can toboggan and snow play at Perisher Valley. If you can, go up to the top of the toboggan area to enjoy the beautiful view up there. You can also catch free buses between Parisha Valley and Smiggin Holes to visit two areas on the same day. For a beginner or intermediate level, Parisha is our choice too. Perisher has more space dedicated to beginners with more magic carpets. It is bigger with much shorter and more moderate runs. Smiggin Holes in Perisher is a great place to learn to ski for both children and adults. Learners can progress from beginner to intermediate levels a bit smoother here. Overall, for skiing, Perisher is better because it has more runs and skiable terrains than Threadbo. You can ski across all four resort areas which you don't get at Threadbo. For advanced skiers, Threadbow is the winner. Threadbow has longer and steeper runs. There are fewer crowds and beginners on the runs. Threadbow has higher drops for more experienced skiers. For village and apers ski, Threadbow is our pick. Threadbow village has a great alpine atmosphere with nice shops, restaurants, bars, and even a supermarket. Threadbow has more non-skiing options such as a tennis court, skate park, and playground. Perisher doesn't have the ski village atmosphere that you get from Threadbow. Getting there. 
Threadbo and Perisha are both inside the Kosciuszko National Park. If you're driving there, you will have to pay an entry fee of $29 per day. They are both a 5 hours drive from Sydney. Roads are not so difficult to drive when it's not snowing but can be slippery and icy. Two-wheel drive vehicles need to carry snow chains. Car parks. Both resorts offer car parks. The car park at Parisha is bigger and closer to the snow field than Fredbo. Affordability. Parisha is better in terms of affordability. Lift tickets and lessons are more expensive at Threadbo. If you're traveling with your family or in a group, the difference can add up. Crowd. Due to popularity, Parisha is more crowded than Threadbo. If you still can't decide where to go and have a few days, you can visit both. They are both fantastic places. For our family needs, we prefer Perisher. We have separate videos about Threadbow, Perisher, and Smiggin Holes. Feel free to watch those videos for more details. I hope you find this video useful to plan your trip. Please like this video and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thanks so much for your support. Have a safe and exciting journey.